Hey y'all, I hope that you're doing well. Draw Your Day March has been a success so far. Has it been easy every day? No, no, it has not. Have I drawn every day? Yes, I've actually drawn every day. Have I watercolored in the book every day? No, as you can see, I'm doing some catch up. I have been doing the sketches, the, the, the simple illustration part. Um, I've even put down a few photos and stuff like that. I wanted to kind of do the watercoloring in a few different city sittings so that I could do videos for this and talk about the process. One of the things that has um, surprised me is that I've actually pretty much for the most part been using my travel supplies, my little travel bag. I mean, I have switched things up a little bit this has been fun so far that's one of the reasons why i'm doing it the other thing is that i want to like i said in the first in the introduction video to this i have wanted to develop a daily practice so that even if i couldn't get to say adding the pictures or adding the watercolor on that day i could do it the next day or in a couple of days which is usually kind of new to me because i like doing everything kind of in one sitting but you can't always do that and I'm trying to develop more of a routine and a practice with it so that I can actually go back to things so that I don't always have to feel like I have to do it right then and there. There's something to me about the combination of art and words that has just, it changed my view of journaling. The very first time I saw a journal page that was brought to life with art and words, whether it was art where somebody had illustrated and watercolored or art where they'd added photos and some watercolor maybe a stamp and markers where they colored in the stamp it just any it, any kind of creative expression i was like oh because for a long time since middle school and i'm in my early 50s i have added bits of everyday ephemera to my journal pages pictures ticket stubs receipts different things like that maybe an occasional doodle but mostly it's just been me and my my text my words and bits and pieces here and there of real life ephemera like some photos and tick stuff stuff like that when i started dabbling at first into adding watercolor adding art sketches and just backgrounds and different things like that to my journal pages i, I was gun shy it had been like 30 years since i had created art other than for my kids and stuff like that i mean i draw things on occasion sit down and color with them in the coloring book my daughter is an artist she's been drawing since she was little i loved art in high school i wanted to do journalism i want i but i want and take my own photos but I also loved art so much, I even considered at one point maybe trying to get into art school. I thought, well, I'll just do photographs, you know, and I'll just doodle here and there, you know. I didn't take myself seriously as an artist. Um, I did take myself more seriously with the writing. Now, I know for a lot of people, it's, I can't draw. My stick figures look horrible kind of thing. But I think what a lot of people don't realize, and even myself included, is that when we're drawing, it's the same as when we're, when we're learning how to draw, it's the same as when we're learning how to write. We have to learn how to write the letters, the curves, the lines, the angles, you know? I mean, the, the, the alphabet itself is like a little picture of something, and then you learn how to draw that letter, essentially. You know, so if you can learn how to draw a letter, then you can draw. You know, you're just combining curves and lines, whether it's handwriting or drawing a picture. You know, I think, um, and watercolor is fun. It doesn't have to be super serious. I don't think drawing your day, watercoloring, that kind of thing, I don't think it has to be uh, serious. If you're not having fun with it, uh, then you're not not really going to stick with it if it's not exciting and new or exciting and maybe a little bit challenging or and exciting as in fun as in you look forward to doing you look forward to improving you look forward to trying new things unfortunately a lot of us have this idea of what is good art i don't know i mean if have you have you been to a gallery lately people are buying these 
people are buying these abstract paintings, these different things, and somebody splashed some paint on a canvas or on a piece of watercolor paper or something, and they're calling it art with a capital A. Or they're calling it art enough for you to buy it and different things like that. Or you can buy a canvas that's blank and somebody's called it something abstract. I don't know. What do you call good art? I think that every attempt I make at art is good art if I did my best. If I was trying and I was having fun to me, then it's good art. The next time I'll do my best again and maybe my best will be better than the time before that. And a lot of people get into, well, you need all this stuff. No, you don't really need all this stuff. You don't. So let's talk about what you do need. You need a brush. Now, you can get water brushes for really cheap on Amazon. You can buy inexpensive watercolor brushes at Walmart. Heck, they have them in Dollar General. And um, I've actually had better results with the ones, the pack that I bought at Dollar General that are synthetic, um, that are sort of all purpose than I did with the very first set that I got from Michaels that was much more expensive and synthetic where the bristles came out. So you don't need anything super expensive. You could use praying watercolors. You could use Crayola watercolors. If you want to just play and have fun in your journal, That I think the key is to find things that work well for you. I am not a big fan of water brushes. I use them and I will use them like if I'm going out somewhere I have quite a few of them. Um, it's less they're less messy. I just I don't know I'm not not as big a fan. I like real watercolor brushes. So anyway whether they're synthetic or real whatever I like I like watercolor brushes better. I've been using my travel palette a lot more which means I'm mixing colors. Okay. I'm not all that great at mixing the colors, but it's working. I'm, I'm learning. Drawing your day marks, like I said, has been a success so far. It's because I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Two, I'm determined to have a better daily practice of art, to have a better routine. This is something I'm enjoying. I'm also doing watercoloring um, sometimes of my tarot cards and different spiritual journal kind of things which is something I've been thinking about doing is doing a series of some kind of spiritual journal creative thing once a week for myself so that maybe if I film those or at least one of those things I'm doing then maybe that could be one video a month I am not stressing out over whether what I'm doing is perfect I'm just having fun I I think the thing that's really been helping me is that like some days it, it's more a little bit more serious other days it's just a little bit more fun it's like I haven't watercolored everything in here that I've done so far but I think the key right now I thought maybe the first two weeks of March while I'm doing this it would just be where I'm I'm having fun I'm doing whatever and then the next two weeks I thought I'd spend working on composition a little bit more working now and getting out of my comfort zone a little bit more I mean I've done it a little bit in here but not as much as say I would like to the piece that I did where you see this this first piece where you see sort of me sitting at the desk with my eyes closed I'm sort of meditating kind of thing and then the pictures of my cousin and his daughter it's sort of a, a memorial kind of thing I I did that and I didn't do Thursday's page until the next day because what I've been doing is I started this in the very beginning is I've been drawing the day after or a little bit during the day I draw a few things March 2nd you're gonna see it's much more fun I've got the tarot for troubled times my cell phone the homemade chicken fajitas and then I did my I had the picture of the tarot spread where I showed the spread but the reason I did that was I had gotten a new book and the new tarot decks and I didn't put the oracle deck on here but that's okay so you'll get to like some of them are more fun some of them are a little bit you know I'm just trying and experimenting and doing a bunch of different things which is why I think this this kind of thing is really appealing because you can draw your day in a variety of ways I was on a roll with doing the tarot cards in my bullet journal drawing them and then when I the moment that I said I was gonna put them in that spiritual journal I started taking photos of them instead 
because in the bullet journal it was just a quick squet sketch with a squetch it was a quick sketch however in my journal my spiritual journal it's more serious and i noticed i thought about that i thought about that yesterday when i was when i did my tarot cards and stuff and i was like oh yeah this is what am i doing here i mean am i i'm making a big deal out of this and the whole point of any of this is not to stress out over whether it's perfect or not progress not perfection the more I do this stuff the better I get I like that I like that that's what I want I want to improve organically I don't I don't want to super stress myself out over it because then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna feel all this anxiety because I already have regular anxiety I mean I already have anxiety so my regular anxiety is going to get bolstered it's like going to get boost it's like going to get a, a energy drink and then my anxiety is going to like like i got an extra espresso shot kind of thing and i don't need that i definitely don't need that i'm looking at the pages in my bullet journal how cute the little tarot cards and i'm like you know what i gotta quit this is this is what this is about no matter what it needs to be about the daily practice about having the fun about creatively expressing myself about experimenting and getting out of my comfort zone some and some things are going to be great like my cell phone is too fat it's not long enough but i don't care it's it's a cell phone it what i wanted it's on the page and as as someone who i'm on here I may never ever get to the point where people really want commission to work like you know and I'm okay with that I don't I don't I, I'm, I'm not worried about any of that it's not that I don't think I could do that it's that I know that that's not really what my end goal is my big goal that's not my dream my dream is to share is to inspire others to be creative to try and I don't think you have to I mean there are people who have journal beautiful beautiful journal pages and they've used different stamps and washi and pictures and distress stains or maybe watercolor for some background and they've added creative bits collage bits ephemera bits to their pages and yes they've used like some watercolor or some kind of wet media kind of thing to enhance like markers where they color in the stamps or whatever and their pages are gorgeous if that's your creative thing or that's what you aspire to do creatively but you're too afraid to do it because you don't know if you'll be able to color in the lines part of the fun is knowing when to break the rules or not caring and just breaking the rules there are things where I actually think it looks better when it's out of the lines for example on the page that you see here where I've done the phone and the book and the tarot cards and the chicken fajita when I first started doing the box for the tarot cards for the white sage tarot I never I didn't actually do the crown that's on the birds head I gave you the feeling of the bird and I left it at that the same thing with the light seers tarot I didn't go through and draw like her hair and her face and her shirt and I gave you the hint of what it is that was on those boxes same with the um, tarot for troubled times it's a purple looking book with white letters so I wasn't looking for perfection wasn't looking for a picture of it I have I could take a picture of it and put it in there I'm looking for the feeling of the essence of the interpretation of sometimes my essence of is something completely different than what I originally imagined and then other times it's something that's a little bit more realistic than what I had originally imagined you know it just depends I'm, I'm having fun when I first started thinking about doing the background for the phone where all the notifications kept popping up I remember that day I was trying to film trying to film and every time I turned around I was getting a text message or a phone call or a notification or something but I couldn't turn the phone off because there was something going on and I don't remember what it was then oh man 
I was trying to film <laughs> and it was just like one thing after another boom 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 with the phone um so I just remember thinking wow it's gonna be one of those days that's where I'm at with with some of this I think there comes a point and a time where you have to go okay am I taking myself too seriously or am I not taking myself seriously enough you have to ask yourself some of those important questions I have been lately asking myself some of those actual important questions um, one of the things I started asking myself about you know we're, we're talking about self-doubt I've been talking about it a lot you know and I've been thinking about it you know am I willing to put in the time to practice and I have been you know to try I am this is so that I have a deliberate creative practice a deliberate art practice um, so that it's more it's consistent can it, it's it's consistent and the more that I consistently practice the better I will get no matter how horrible that first one is when I'm feeling kind of uh like if I think sometimes if I start that too early and I haven't had a chance to kind of be a little bit more free with my art or with my drawing or with my painting and I go straight to this page this journal kind of thing then um, I think I'm more tense and more there's more tension um, I think sometimes it's easier for me if it's something that I'm not doing first thing so that's why I'm thinking the tarot might be my first thing um, so that it's not I'm going back to sketching them and not worrying about how perfect it is I'm just gonna get the essence of the thing that I'm doing which is a really good thing for tarot because I'm trying to follow more of my intuition with tarot so that big thing that kind of stands out from the card could be the thing that I draw in the card like the things that really stand out to me I think part of this is about changing my thought process to okay there are some days when I'm really gonna want to write a lot more there are other days when I'm not gonna write very much at all on this page right here I didn't write very much at all wrote some captions and then um, I left it alone I didn't do a bunch of journaling on this text journaling on this page you know I think also I'm I'm doing better about not comparing myself I'm getting inspiration from a variety of other sources I um, many small has been somebody I have just I love her I love her art I love her videos her videography is off the chain and I think if I could get to a point where myself into the habit more of doing some b-roll um, I've got to find my small tripod I tried to do that a little bit today but I failed because I realized my daughter has my um, the one thing for my phone because I was gonna get that b-roll from the phone and then I'm like you know what that's not gonna work I need to actually use one of my cameras to do b-roll because of the way that I film and edit my videos it's made me think about how I do things I really enjoyed um, doing this so far I've had a lot of fun as you can see I'm kind of flipping through the pages I just kind of wanted you to have an, a, a good idea all of it's not been watercolor yet I'm still working on my pages the coronavirus one I still have a picture to add to the show your work is a book that I got in and I have a little bit of stuff to put there too so it's still sort of a work in progress but I am doing this on a daily basis so I think that's the thing that's really making a big difference is I'm chronicling what's going on in current events what's going on in my life what I'm doing you know like when I spend time with the kids and that kind of thing so I'll see y'all again soon hope you enjoyed it bye y'all